Today, you're going to learn seven tips to create a stunning landing page that will generate more leads for you. Let's go. Hello, fellow business owners. My name is Antoine Dupont and welcome to another video. This channel is all about marketing to help you grow your business. So if you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. Let's get right into it. So the first tip to create stunning landing pages that convert is less is more. Many landing pages have way too much stuff on it. Too many images, too much text, too much icons. It's way too much stuff. We as human are much better at understanding one single value prop one message, one call to action. Here is a great example with Call Ruby. Navigation is clean and simple, the title, live answering services, and with a super clear call to action, call sales. There's nothing confusing about this landing page. You know exactly what they offer and you know exactly how to get it. And it has simple colors, no carousel full of images and text, no social media icons in the header. It's simple and clear. That's it. Nothing less, nothing more. Next tip is have a single great image or picture. The words in your headline or in the subtitle or in the body of the text may get us to take action, but a single great image may make your visitor say, this is for me, or even better yet, this is me. Your single image above the fold needs to convey a couple of things. The first thing is how it feels to work with you or the happy resolution of using your products or services. Beware of using what I call metaphor images like the person at the top of the mountain with their hands in the air singing victory. Well, these images that look good and feel good, if your audience on the other side cannot bridge themselves from where they currently are to what the promise of the picture is, they'll disconnect and they'll think maybe this is too good to be true and they're gone. The next tip is use a professional landing page creator. Systems like lead pages or Insta pages or click funnels are great if you need help with creating one single landing page for a product or a service. The added advantage with these platforms for you is they have tons of templates to choose from and lots of insights with thousands of landing pages created on their platforms. Now, if you want to create the landing page on your own WordPress website, I would highly recommend a tool called Visual Composer. They have tons of template and their drag and drop feature will make the average person look like a landing page ninja. Whoa! Next tip is conduct some A and B testing on your landing pages. Look, the truth is data doesn't lie. Many experts and gurus, including myself, will tell you do this and do that. But there are so many variables with a product or a service that it's really hard to know for sure. I may have a pretty good idea, but my experience is based on trials and errors. And oftentimes, I'm wrong. I really thought that this picture was going to work better than this one. But the ANB testing is telling me this picture has a better conversion. So here's what you should A and B test on your landing page. First, it's the overall layout. This layout versus this layout. Next, test the headline or the offer. Test this offer versus this offer and see what the data tells you this time. And next, A and B test the call to action. See if this call to action works better than this one. And of course, you wanna test this image versus this image. A and B testing works by showing 50% of the people the A version and the other 50% the B version. And I'd recommend that you only test one thing at a time, either the layouts, the images, or the CTAs, and you do it for at least a period of 30 days. Then analyze, plan, and adjust as needed. And then rinse, repeat. Next is have a single focus, 
call to action. Your call to action should be precise and it should be the first step in doing business with you. For example, with Call Ruby, the call to action was a phone number. The first step of doing business with Call Ruby is getting on the phone and calling them. That's it. It's that simple. So for you, if the first step in doing business with you is meeting in person, then the call to action should probably be something like schedule your appointment. Learn more, contact us, more information is not a call to action. It's a distraction for what they should be doing. Put yourself in your customer's shoes. They're probably thinking of, I want that, how can I get that? Your call to action should be the first step for them to get it. Next tip is include a video. I don't know everything about humans, but I know this. Given the choice of reading 300 words or watching a 60 second video, you and I will pick the 60 second video almost every single time. The main reason is the vast majority of us are visual, which means that we learn better when the information is presented to us visually, i.e. a video. Also, a video is easier to consume than reading. A recent study by HubSpot revealed that when a video was present on the landing page, it increased the conversion by a whopping 80%. The video on the landing page should be approximately 60 to 90 seconds and explain the problems or challenges your products and services resolves for them. Make sure to include all the benefits of your products and services and close the video with a precise call to action like schedule your appointment or call this number. Now I've created a free template and I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Just click, download, and use that template for your script. Next tip is include consequences and the happy resolution of using your services or products. One key psychology trigger when people make decision is the fear of missing out or FOMO or the fear of loss. Make sure to include on your landing page a section clearly describing the most predictable outcome if they don't do anything, like losing money, wasting time, or not being approved. All these are consequences of not taking any action. You need to make sure that it's clearly spelled out. There's no need to go doom and gloom here. I think people are going to smell it if you're going to doom and gloom on them. But tell them exactly, okay, if you don't do this, this is what may happen to you. And you also need to close the landing page with the happy resolution of working with you. Like get more money in your pocket or get more time for yourself or get peace of mind today. Closing your landing page with a happy resolution and a precise call to action is guaranteed to increase your conversion. All right, so that does it for today. If you got value out of this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. Ciao.